Okay, welcome everybody to our um, first high school distance learning uh, champion. And uh, I just wanna welcome uh, Shariya Gray with an A, um, otherwise known as the Black Matician. Um, so <laughs> thank you so much for, for joining us and thank you for the work that you are doing on, on behalf of your students. And so um, can you just tell a little bit about yourself uh, to the audience? Where, where are you teaching at? And uh, well, obviously you're teaching from home right now, but where are you typically <laughs> teaching at and, and uh, what subject areas? I currently teach at Edison High School, Go Tigers. And I teach accelerated geometry and geometry, but I am certified for all levels six through 12 because my degree is in applied math. So great job. And the reason why we have you on, the reason why you were chosen as uh, an educator, the high school distance learning educator champion is because you have uh, created a web, uh, excuse me, a YouTube channel and some videos uh, to reach not only your students, but for to reach parents and other educators throughout this distance learning model. Um, tell us a little bit more about why you chose to use um, YouTube. Well, honestly, about five years ago, I was still in college and I was telling all my friends, one of my friends started a, um, he and his girlfriend started a couple's channel, a couple's YouTube. And it was getting a lot of traction. And I was like, I should just make a YouTube teaching math because everybody hates it. <laughs> and they were like, you really should. That's a great idea. But it took me five years to start because I kept telling myself I don't have time. I moved to California and then I started teaching full time. And then I ended up in school to get my master's. I just didn't have the time. Um, and then we went on quarantine and I realized I now have time. <laughs> so I went ahead and started the channel. Honestly, the my students have actually been like my biggest supporters right now because they've been the ones that have been sharing it with people and telling their other friends about it. But, and I've always been told that the way I explain things is, uh, what would be the word? Uh, relatable and relevant and engaging. So I just figured I would take what I do in the classroom and just put it on video and then go ahead and post it. I didn't know it was going to blow up this fast, but this is good. This is good. It's great. It's yeah, it's absolutely fun. It is definitely relatable. Did you did you have any production background at all? Or is this like is I, I wanna, you know, for other teachers out there that are that are watching that might want to do something like this, how how difficult was this transition to to do a YouTube channel? Um, being able to make the videos wasn't difficult just because I already researched how to do it over this five year span. But for teachers that are looking into doing a YouTube, it's super easy if you have a smartphone what you do is take your phone turn it sideways to get like a full full screen video and then just record and then you can just trim and cut that's honestly what i've been doing i mean aside from the memes that i add in there i'm just kind of a perfectionist so i like perfect point but it's really not difficult like anyone could just go ahead and start a youtube um it's just like starting it. That's the problem. Like most people think like, oh, I don't want to do it because somebody else will do it. But it's really beneficial for your students to actually see you on screen than to see somebody else or just to see hands or anything like that. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree. I think that um, what this uh, crisis has really shown us is just the power of relationship and the power of, of seeing the people that uh, we know in that space, right? And so it's great. Now, I have to ask, as, as a big fan of uh, Insecure and uh, Issa Rae, I'm ah. always wondering, you have, you have that same vibe? Like the quality was that great, the, the monologue and stuff? So I, I personally was wondering... Was that part of your inspiration? And if not, what was? I love Saray. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad you said that. I love her. And you know, um, about three years ago, she was doing a challenge where she was asking people to submit scripts and then she would hire them as writers. And I didn't finish my script because I was going to submit it to her challenge. Uh, I should have, but honestly. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I, I definitely should have. My um, inspiration, and this is going to sound really weird, um, is Bill Nye, um, Mr. Wizard. Mr. Wizard, all right. Yeah, and um, uh, kind, of, kind of like a collection of a bunch of different YouTubers. So I would watch videos of things that were not education 
to see like what they were doing, like transitions and effects. But then I would like take a lot from like Bill Nye was engaging and out there. Like I would hope to turn this channel into something more like in the world, like a show. Like I would be out in the world looking for math and showing people how to do certain things. And I would love to see it evolve into something like that, like the Bill Nye of math. I like it. The Bill Nye of math uh, sprinkled in with some Issa Rae vibe and there you go. So it's good. Now, uh, thank you for the work that you are doing. Um, again, congratulations on being the high school uh, educator, uh, distance educator of uh, champion. And so um, you are going to get a gift card for that. And then if anybody else out there that's listening would like to nominate somebody, um, please make sure to nominate them. You could go onto our website, uh, fresnoteachers.org on the top right hand side, nominate um, a champion. And let's just show um, our community all the great things because we know that there are some so many great things that are going on. And then you could find find uh, Miss Gray with an A um, at the <laughs> competition on YouTube. Check out the videos again if you're a student, if you're a parent, or if you're a teacher. Thank you so much for your time today.